Hello, Kamaya, and hello, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, my husband, Mark, I'm Eva. Today, we're going to talk about the different things he noticed when he visited Philippines for the first time and uh, the things I noticed the first time I came here in the Netherlands. So, let's start with the first topic. Saying no to people. Yeah, big difference in my yeah. country. Okay. Let me explain. When I went to Philippines, mm -hmm. um, uh, I experienced a truckload of kindness <laughs> from family, friends, but also uh, from strangers. Mm -hmm. Everybody is very kind, especially when they see a foreigner, I think. So every time we went to the store or we went to a restaurant, uh, the waitress would overload us with kindness. And I got the impression that they were especially really afraid. It, it's common for us in our culture. I got the impression that everybody is afraid to say no. Even if I ask the impossible, <laughs> they will st still try to do it or they will find ways not to say no. Mm -hmm. Although they, 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 they don't answer the question, they were just avoiding it. Mm -hmm. They had a hard time saying no, I think. Okay, the part that we're trying to avoid is um, um, we don't want to be impolite. So we don't want to say anything, especially you're a foreigner. Um, it's um, it's part of our culture. The the hospitality is part of our culture, and uh, we are known. Philippines is uh, Philippine culture is known for that, okay. being hospitable. I think so we're it's the, true. Yeah, I okay. think we're the only species in the world. <laughs> we're the only country in the world who has that um, um, super hospitality. Yeah, other countries do, but Philippines very special. Okay. Okay. The next one: birthdays. Mm -hmm. Birthdays! Wow. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you? Do, why don't you do first? Why don't you describe a typical Philippine birthday? Okay. Typical Philippine birthday. There's always a lot of food because that's that's our bonding, uh, especially uh, family and friends that we we don't get to see often. So food is our uh, is our bonding. Yeah. And um, in in this is only my opinion. In my country, if uh, you invite people, you need to do your best to. To, to give good food because for me in my opinion it is impolite that you invite people and make them hungry so when we go to a Philippine party and it starts at 5 mm -hmm. then food is served at like 5 minutes past 5 mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in the Dutch birthdays it's a bit different okay. uh, depending on what part of the country you live in or you visit mm -hmm. because in Limburg it's a bit more uh, um, Questions. It's mm -hmm. a bit more uh, extended than the rest of the Netherlands, mm -hmm. but um, so Limburg province is a special. It's yeah, we have. It's more hospitable than the rest of the country. Yeah, that's the word hospitable. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh nice. Mm. Uh, I think that like I belong serve, here. I live here. Oh. It's tradition that we serve and eat cake, mm -hmm. and we start with cake and mm -hmm. coffee. Not at the end. It's not a dessert. Mm -hmm. It's actually <laughs> what you start with. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Philippines, it's more uh, when you eat food, that's a dessert. Mm. That's the biggest difference. Uh, and in Netherlands, what I notice is um, I understand and I respect it's part of their culture. Uh, usually, they serve one slice of cake or one slice of meat. Um, um, almost everything is just one slice and it, uh, I understand it's part of their uh, culture, uh, their system. And the first time I attended um, Dutch uh, uh, birthday party, I was so hungry because I didn't eat at home. Uh, hoping, because I'm used to my country, Philippines, so hoping that... Uh, um, hoping to to eat a lot of food there because it's birthday, it's automatic, but it wasn't. so. Uh, the next birthday, I eat first at home and then attend the birthday. Because for them, uh, as far as uh, I know, uh, birthday or any events, um, uh, uh, gathering um, with family and friends, um, is mo uh, it's more like talking and talking like, how are you, how is your job? Uh, that's how they, uh, they do the bonding here. But uh, for us Filipino, mostly uh, uh, food and of course talking and karaoke. Shopping malls. Okay. When I went to shopping malls, mm -hmm. uh, I experienced, um, well, it's a unique shopping experience. Why, why unique? Well, first of all, it's a big shopping malls, the oh, SM, okay. the mega malls. Yeah, and the MOA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, almost the size of a country and the uh, worth of uh, shoppings, mm -hmm. all kinds of shops. Mm -hmm. um, but the most memorable is when you enter a store, it's like three or four clerks come to you 
try to serve you. <laughs> Looking around, just browsing, it's not an option. They will come and serve you mm -hmm. and they will start bothering you. Can we help you? Can we help you? And all they want to do is browse. Because mm. <laughs> that's typical Dutch. Yeah, I know it's very different here. Um, the the social system is very different in in Europe uh, in Europe in general. It's not only Netherlands, but in in my country, especially if you are a foreigner, uh, we feel awkward not to entertain you. It's like, hi sir, mom, uh, um, uh, what do you need? Can I help you? Okay. Yeah, but here it's annoying. <laughs> okay. The next so, question. I think we're going to cut this video in two because the next question you will need one hour. Wow. <laughs> and that, that's not about medical care. Because I, uh, in Holland... When I we have many yeah, well, let bad me, experiences. Let me explain the Dutch system. In Netherlands, yeah. Let me okay, explain okay. the Dutch system first. Okay, 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 okay. When, when <laughs> we need to see your country, uh, defend. Getting medical care in Holland. Um, mm. Let me explain how it works here. Mm -hmm. If I'm sick or um, something's wrong with me and I need, a, uh, need to see a doctor, mm -hmm. I will first see a general practitioner, mm -hmm. um, he will diagnose me first, mm -hmm. try to help me, and if he cannot do it, he will forward me to a specialist in the hospital. All in all, seeing the, the general practitioner, we call that a house arts, mm -hmm. and going to the hospital can take up to two days, or two months, or half a year, it kind of depends, it's mm -hmm. uh, not crystal clear, it depends what kind of care you need. and. Was, uh, at the moment, with mm -hmm. the current epidemic, it will mm -hmm. take a long time. Yeah. Uh, but in the Philippines, I also got sick. Yeah. And, and you had a bad experience? I had a very bad experience. I also had a good experience because okay, good. all those tests that would take here uh, months to perform, like blood tests, See? getting the result, Every getting x-ray, mm -hmm. different thing, different department, all of that was done in one day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because... Yeah. It, the medical system in Philippines is uh, is uh, usually private, private hospitals, private clinics. But here is all in public, so you need to uh, um, you, you need to wait. So there's always a waiting list, and if you get lucky, you get personalized uh, uh, service. If not, then they're always in a hurry because it it's public. Yeah. So speaking of medical care. Um, for me, it's like 60% I like Philippines system Why? and 40% Netherlands uh, system. In in Philippines, if you're in a hurry to find out your disease or you're just in a hurry, you want to know more, um, you can easily choose a private doctor, private hospital, all is private and you can, uh, you can easily avail the, the time of the specialist, even the consultant. But here, you need to wait except for emergency and then the really good in terminal stage here but as long as they see you functioning well and you're still standing and talking and you can you, the basics you can eat um, yeah you can laugh uh, they will just say go home here's paracetamol yes go home <laughs> take paracetamol eat healthy and uh, trust your immune system but they cannot see what's inside of course so that's why that's why I say 60% uh, I like Philippine medical system and 40% Dutch medical system because I have many bad experiences here that I can share with you next time. But um, like what I said, it's, it's not a bad country, of course. I like everything about Netherlands except the medical system. Uh, Good that you say that. That's clear. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next one. Um, Sweets and candy. When we were in Philippines, um, I, I know you know I have a sweet tooth. I like uh, biscuits and no, I like uh, you have candy. a sweet yeah, tooth. Of course, I don't have. So um, it's reversed. So mm -hmm. while there, we were looking for um, mm -hmm. for basic candy, and of course they have the basics. But mm -hmm. there, were, I also saw a lot of mm -hmm. uh, strange candy. At least for me, it was strange. Or new candies. <laughs> Strange. Yeah, new, <laughs> as in uh, caramels, but, <laughs> oh, yeah, but yeah. never seen them before. Oh, okay. The way they make it. And, okay, okay. Uh, uh, the other one, what's it named? The uh, one of sugar. Uh, yema, yema. Yema. It's I, made of milk and um, sugar. Yeah. You yeah. Don't that like was that was an experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I, I, I simply prefer the Dutch candy, like uh, yeah, liquor drop. Uh, yeah. Or. Um, mm. Yeah, of course, it's your country. You like that, but yeah. uh, for, uh, when. When we say candy, uh, generally when we say candy, it's automatic sweet. But uh, only in Netherlands, I tasted a salted candy that's a drop. Uh, 
<laughs> I was like, uh, oh, this is the first time I I tasted uh, a salted candy. Because um, oh, when but, you but liquor uh, drop, uh, as you call it, we have a many many kinds. Many of kinds. Taste. Oh, that's all, why. All tastes. Okay. Sweet, sour, salty. Okay. Ah, okay. That I didn't uh, taste. Okay. Now next. Um, oh, that's a good one. Being mm. served or the way. People are served. Mm -hmm. um, I remember we went to Baraka and we had to take a boat. Mm -hmm. And imagine you go to the uh, to the to the station where you buy mm -hmm. a ticket. Mm -hmm. And first there is a clerk behind the window who mm -hmm. say, "Where you want to go?" Mm -hmm. uh, I want to go to Baraka. Okay, and then okay, one moment, sir. My colleague will help you. Mm -hmm. Next one, next person will come and will sell me the ticket. <laughs> Selling the ticket will only mean they will give me a ticket. And then there is a third person who will take my money, <laughs> and a fourth person who will put a stamp on the ticket. Mm -hmm. And then when you go out to the docks, there is a fifth person oh, God, memorized... checking uh, checking the the ticket. Mm -hmm. If it's paid, if it's stamped. Mm -hmm. Here, there's just one person behind the window. I will pay the person. He will give me a ticket that is already stamped and mm -hmm. probably is all, already checked it, and I can go to the docks. Yeah. It only takes one person, and there it takes four or five. <laughs> they, Divide the labor into tasks. Yes, yes. Amazing. Yes. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> that yeah. was not only a Baraka, it happened everywhere. <laughs> Imagine he memorized that. Okay. <laughs> Big difference. And another one I want to ask you about is formal closing. Because uh, at many events we saw those, uh, especially guys wearing white blouses. The I forgot what you call it. Bar ba barang? Barong? Barong. Not barang. barang, not barang. Barong. Barong, yeah. <laughs> Barong, yes. Barong it's like is a, a wedding gown for a, men. Informal, <laughs> yeah, it is usually worn um, in formal events, yeah. Yes, like mm. I said, a wedding gown for men. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And the women, you have these others, this, this, the uh, dresses, the, 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 whole, yes. the yeah. high shoulders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, we don't have that. Even if it's formal, we have um, uh, tuxedo mm -hmm. or similar uh, mm -hmm. things like tuxedo mm -hmm. or what we call stats cleaning. Okay. Which is yeah. a bit formal, Tuxedo, and not yeah. every day. Yeah. Okay, next. Um, that's the last topic, actually. Mm -hmm. That's the way we uh, celebrate newborn. Okay. Tell me, how do you celebrate newborns? In Philippines, um, of course, we are happy and thankful to God, but we don't serve like this. Um, this is how they serve for the newborn to the visitors of uh, family and friends. Uh, they call this Biscout. Bishkaut mit Moshes. Yeah. Look. So, um, what did I ask you when you first got here? <laughs> I remember. He um, he asked me, "Will you meet me in Bishkaut to eat?" Yeah. And what was your yeah. answer? And uh, I, because I didn't understand, so <laughs> <laughs> I didn't reply. And um, uh, will you meet me in Bishkaut to eat? I said uh, English. Will you meet me in Bishkaut to eat? Uh, translate in English, please. Do you want to eat a biscuit with me? Yeah. And, and you said yes, but you didn't know the meaning behind it. Yes, yes, I didn't understand it. I just said because yes. we usually when do we eat this? What time of day? Uh, uh, when somebody uh, uh, gives birth. Yes, yeah. but all biscuit normal. What time of day do we eat it? Time of day. Yeah, as uh, breakfast usually. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So when mm -hmm. when I ask you to eat mm -hmm. a biscuit, so Russia, that, that means you stay the night. You missed that part. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, so it's not only during the uh, during giving birth, yeah. Uh, not only uh, uh, not only when there is newborn, also uh, breakfast time. They they eat this uh, during breakfast when when somebody gives birth, um, and then that's we give really this a tradition when somebody gives birth. Even our uh, daughter Juliana knows it because yes. she saw me make this earlier, and mm -hmm. first thing she said, "You were not." Said, "Papa, mm -hmm. do you need to tell me something?" <laughs> <laughs> it's Mama. Yeah, uh, pregnant. Yeah, exactly. But I'm just fat. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> now that uh, I I I got uh, the embroidering uh, uh, diploma, so I got the Dutch passport, so I I understand some words. Every time he asks me, will will I meet me in Bishkek to eat? Eh? Uh, my reply is, uh, ja, maar um, dat legt er aan hoe knapper je Bishkek is. <laughs> Oh, uh, too much info. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, uh, three of this. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice presentation. Thank you for preparing this honey pie. And That's okay. yeah, thank you. Now we can eat. Although I'm not yet pregnant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so now, 
we are sharing our differences, the things he noticed in my country and I noticed in this country, Netherlands. Uh, that's all I can share with you all today. If you think this video is interesting, especially those people who are married to Dutch, kindly share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you all so much and see you all next time.